<laughs> Please welcome the outrageously talented and fabulous Sarah Bareilles, everybody. There she is. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on the amazing reviews that your TV show is getting. How are you feeling? Have, have, you, have you been surprised by the reaction? Oh, my gosh. I come out of this world, completely beyond wildest imaginations. I think, you know, we made this show and it was so hard to make. It was the middle of COVID. And so we were all, we all knew we were doing something that was very precious because everyone had been sitting at home and not allowed to work. So we were just so grateful to be on the set every day. And I don't think any of us really could have imagined that that would actually translate out into the world and have people love it as much as we did. But we just had the best time and I'm on, I'm on cloud nine about the whole thing. Now, anyone who hasn't caught up with the show yet, tell them what it's about and who you play. So I play a character named Don Solano, and this show is centered around a girl group from the 90s who are essentially getting a second chance. They have, they had their moment in, in the sun and then sort of went on to live their lives and they're all sort of living inside the choices they made. And um, they get sampled by a rapper who um, kind of gives them a second shot. and they decide to go for it and sort of reclaim the narrative of their earlier, you know, time in the sun and, and, and give it a second shot. Do you think there'll, there'll ever be a world where we'll see Girls 5 ever genuinely become a real band, go out on tour, you know, like, would, like the monkeys? I would love this. <laughs> I would love this. I, I, we were joking about it on set. I was like, guys, I'll go on tour and you, we can open. You, we can open for me. Oh, my <laughs> and, God. That would be sensational. Kind of <laughs> we kind of can't get enough of each other. It's a real love fest. It's like a slightly sickening. But um, we really do enjoy each other's company so much. So I think... I think there's a world where we could design a really fun live show that like fans would have a blast at, because I know we would love it. Well, you are releasing a new live album tomorrow, which is called Amidst the Chaos, live at the Hollywood Bowl. Um, now, May 2021 was circled on your calendar as the month Sarah Bareilles is going to conquer the worlds of comedy and music. Is that what happened? <laughs> um... Yes, this is by Grand Design. I've been working towards this since I was 11, so um, almost five years, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I, I don't, this just all, with this record was recorded at the end of, you know, 2019, and I had every intention of releasing this last year. And then, of course, last year happened, and it got pushed, and, and it feels so great to release it now that we're on the precipice of, live music coming back to life and everybody being able to be in an audience together and... Are the police um, in New York or here at the I studio? I think Sarah's about to be arrested. Is that the police you want near me to you? Again? No, yeah, I it's... don't mind. Look, if, the, if you've got something to tell us about why the police are coming... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love that you've I love that you've done this uh, live album. I really, really do. You know what a, a, a fan of yours I am. And you you played a, a gig earlier this month, a, a, an empty Hollywood Bowl. What was that? What was it like? I did not know how somber it was gonna feel. It was yeah. so wild to be in this beautiful, what I consider to be like a cathedral of music. And then without the audience, it's like this feels kind of terrible. <laughs> you like you get to the end of the song, you're like, thanks. Anybody? Anybody out there? Anyone? No. Okay. I'm Just well aware of that feeling. <laughs> now, after the break, you're performing a song from that night at the Hollywood Bowl, which is called "I Choose You." And um, what inspired you to write this song? <laughs> this song actually was inspired um, by th this guy that like a fan who came to a meet and greet after a show and he waited in line to meet me. We're taking pictures together and he's like, my wife and I love your music so much. You are just our favorite artist and we really want, we wanted to have a song of yours at our wedding, but everything you write is so depressing. <laughs> wow. I was like, I guess you're right. I'm going to call my therapist about this. And then I sort of, so this song was written in spite, like to spite this, that I met. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, well, screw you. I'll write a love song. And 
It seems to be a theme in my life. <laughs> well, I'm so thrilled you did. Uh, stick around, everybody, because Sarah Bareilles is going to be right here performing when we come back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>